Looking at the life that Patrick and I live now, you wouldn't think that just three years ago we filed Chapter 7 bankruptcy. And uh, when I filed bankruptcy, I had less than $500 in my bank account. But let's back up a bit though. You see, Patrick and I have been trying to make it on our own with different businesses since high school. And uh, we had seen some success, but much, much, much more failure. And overall, this led us to selling real estate when we turned 21 years old. Hello, Editing Nick here. I uh, know this might seem like it was out of the blue for us to randomly start selling real estate when all we had focused on in the past was online business. I, it, it was, um, that's kind of that. It was, we wanted to try something different. That's the explanation of us getting into real estate. We'll have more videos coming up on that, but it was out of the blue. Anyway, back to the story. The thing about selling real estate is you need to get your name out there. And we tried our best to. We bought advertisements, we bought mailers, we spent tons of time, tons of work put into getting our name out there in real estate. And honestly, in our first year, we did pretty well. Um, truthfully though, we uh, broke even on ad spend and things like that, right? Overall though, we uh, actually ended up losing money because if you include the other things that you can't consider a business expense, like, you know, different food, uh, car maintenance that's not 100% write-off because you have to write off the mileage, and uh, we were driving a BMW and a Range Rover. We've always liked nice cars, there's no denying that, and uh, when you add all that up, it, suddenly we're, we're losing money. And on top of all of that, I just didn't enjoy it. We were working so much when we were selling houses, and nine months in, it was just not fun anymore. At first, it was exciting. It was a new business. It was something we had never done before that we were getting into. But we were doing so much work, and I didn't feel like the reward was there. It wasn't compounding like we would see in our online businesses, where you would be able to post something, and it would compound, and those you know, pieces of content would grow over time and be able to bring in views from old content and all that stuff. We weren't seeing that compounding effect with real estate. And sure, real estate's not necessarily meant to be like that, but that's something we had gotten used to in our online businesses. At this point, you're probably wondering what any of this has to do do with filing bankruptcy. Well, while selling real estate, as I had already kind of mentioned, we were losing money on life. You see, everything that wasn't business related from food to gas to other general expenses, insurance, all went on credit cards. On top of that, all of the miles that I was putting on my um, old BMW 4 Series caused the value to absolutely tank. This made me quite upside down on my car loan. And by quite upside down, I mean like 12 grand. Yeah, I had some negative equity in there too, but overall I was really, really upset down on my car line. All of this credit card spending to just live, and on top of that, the loss of equity in my car ended up with uh, me being about $40,000 in debt when I was 22 years old. Oh, and remember how I said Patrick and I hated selling real estate? Well, after one year doing it, we decided it was time to dust off the online businesses and get back at it. So we did that, we dusted off a channel, and then we went ahead and started a few new ones and got to work. We knew it would take some time, so we cut our expenses and started living all cash. Sadly though, this also meant that we had to stop making our credit card payments. There are a few things that we did start doing though. I started saving 10% of every single dollar that came in. And still to this day, I have those funds, not even touch them. We also started working from home, living with our parents, and cutting every single expense possible from eating out to lowering our insurance bill. We cut every single expense that we possibly could. This allowed us to finally start living life at a profit. We were spending just barely less than we were making each month. Then came a knock on the door. It was June 2018, the beginning of June 2018, and I was being served a lawsuit from a credit card company who I had uh, stopped paying. A rightful lawsuit, but a lawsuit nonetheless. Then a week later, another lawsuit came from another credit card company. I will never forget how scared, overwhelmed, and hopeless I felt when someone showed up with a lawsuit at the front door saying I was getting sued for non-payment of credit cards. And I, I mean, I felt like I was getting my life back together. I felt like we were working hard, we were living below our means, we were saving some money, we were building finally. It wasn't a lot, like I'm talking like our income was $500 a month. It was nothing, we were barely making it, but we were making it. And then a lawsuit shows up and it's, it's demoralizing, it really is. And I thought I was getting my life back together. I really did and then a lawsuit shows up. Getting sued forced me to look at my options and see what I could do about these lawsuits. And kind of had a few choices. I could either go ahead and do what I could to work and build the business with a chance of garnished wages and you know all sorts of crazy stuff, more lawsuits, who knows. 
you know, having to go to court for all this, or I could go ahead, file bankruptcy, and kind of get started on a new life. See, I didn't have any other assets other than like 500 bucks in my checking account and all of the money that I had stashed away for saving 10% of what I was making, which wasn't a lot. I mean, we're talking a couple hundred bucks even then. And at the end of June 2018, when I did file bankruptcy, that's all I had. $500 in my bank account and what was in those investments alongside $40,000 in total debt. I actually think it may have been a little more, but I think $40,000 is, is a low number. Oddly enough, when I filed bankruptcy, so much stress and relief came over me. The business started doing better. The debt was gone, the debt was being taken care of, and Patrick and I can now use that brain power, use that momentum, use that motivation to start growing the business and putting more time into it. And the business, it, it started doing better, a lot better. As a matter of fact, the business that we started before bankruptcy and ran through our bankruptcy process is the business we still have and work on today. It's what allowed us to get this office. It's what allowed us to get that beach at the first of the video. We don't own that, but that was the beach near the house that we moved to uh, in Florida. Then that second place that I went, that was our condo hotel, which we bought as an investment property that Patrick has more videos coming out on very, very soon. I kind of took you on a tour today. I know it seemed a little weird. <laughs> I started at the house and then went to that first beach next to our house that we'd always used to go to, and then went to our condo hotel, and then now we're back at our office. That was all kind of built from the business that we were running through bankruptcy. And if we hadn't filed bankruptcy, I don't know if we would have been able to do this. Bankruptcy relieved our stress. It made us be able to, <sighs> breathe, if you will, and put time into building our business and building our company that would have otherwise went to pay off debt. So that's my story of filing bankruptcy when I was 22. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done, one of the most demoralizing things I've ever done, but I'm very, very happy that I did it. Okay, I was going to end this video there, but as I was editing this, I just finished it and I feel like it kind of glorified filing bankruptcy. And while that story is true for us, we've been able to build this awesome company and do all of that and having that release of that debt was kind of the beginning of when all of this started to work and I can't help but believe those are in somewhat relation. The truth is, we had things kind of figured out before we filed bankruptcy. We were living, I mean just barely, like a couple bucks left in the bank account, but money left nonetheless at a profit each month, right? And I'm not talking about business-wise, I'm talking about our lives, right? Our food, our gas, our water, our everything, right, was less than what we made. It wasn't a lot, but it was less. Now, if we had started paying our debts, that wouldn't have been the case. If I had made those credit card payments, that wouldn't have been the case. But without the debt payments, I was able to, and that's why filing bankruptcy made sense for me. However, if that's not the case for you, you have an income problem and you need to focus on making more money. That way, when you file bankruptcy and the debts are gone, you can continue to build. If you don't, if like you're struggling to pay for your day-to-day -day life and you need debt to do that, credit cards or whatever, you're not ready to file bankruptcy. You need to figure that out and then you can file. And even then, if you're living your life at a profit and there's more money left in your bank account at the end of the month than you spent when you file bankruptcy, you still need to think about it because maybe you could use that and pay down and pay off your debt. There is a lot of downsides to filing bankruptcy. For example, I would have loved to have bought a house. The rental property we have, we were forced to purchase it all cash. That's honestly not smart. It doesn't make sense to buy a rental property like that all cash. Why did we have to do that? Because we filed bankruptcy. We can't get loans. I would have loved to have gotten a loan and you know leveraged that real, real property, but we can't. Even a personal home, we can't do that right now because we filed bankruptcy. So to answer the question, should you file bankruptcy? Probably not. However, I do want to have the message if you're thinking about it and you meet that stipulation of if you stop paying your debts, you can live below your means and you're gonna be having extra money left over in your bank account every month, then maybe, maybe for you it is worth it. But even still, talk to a lawyer, talk to a professional before you file. Overall, you need some financial discipline before you file bankruptcy. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up right back in the same position after you do. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like the video, subscribe.